Hello there guys, Fangfurf here, and welcome to Killing Floor. Oh yes. So, uh, before I start this, I'm just going to uh, mention that uh, this particular game is on Steam at the moment. It's actually, uh, you can actually play for free until July the 23rd, I believe. Now this is actually quite an old game, I believe it's around uh, 3 or 4 years old. And I've never really come across it, to be quite honest, until I've seen it on one of the Steam highlights and it's pretty interesting so Killing Floor is basically a wave based uh, game which you basically kill a shitload of zombies but it's pretty cool how it does it now I'm a, I was, was, was a really big fan of Call of Duty Zombies when it first came out and there wasn't, there wasn't really anything quite like it during the time and this is probably the next step up in my regards, even though it is somewhat old now. But hey, so first thing I just want to say, this this game is so greatly optimized. It really is. It's running at 60 frames recording, which is nice. And I've actually come across no stuttering yet, which is really great. So you've got a bit of, you've got quite a lot of. Um, quite a lot of options here as you can see there's a lot of display options and there's even more advanced stuff over here which if we click that it'll show you even though it's already still showing you but yeah it's absolutely massive shitload of stuff you can do which is cool and of course other stuff like audio controls input i have to take off the smoothing i can't stand smoothing it's crap I hate smoothing but yeah that's cool so um i kind of get the impression that this is meant to be played more with people now that's actually pretty cool, I've actually played a bit of multiplayer and it's pretty cool. But I want to show you some solo stuff first and then maybe we can hop into multiplayer a bit later. So let's crack in solo. Okay, so there's two types of, there's two types of modes, there's killing floor and there's objective mode. Now objective mode is pretty new uh, from what I can tell and I haven't actually played it yet, uh, which we might do as well during the video. So hopefully I'll crack on that. But uh, but basically, killing floor is just waves. You kill them. Uh, you got to try and survive. You've got limited ammo. Uh, there is a vendor between each of the rounds, and you can buy stuff. And you just got to survive. It's pretty cool. Objective mode. You got to meet objectives. Blah 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 blah. So yeah, let's just have a crack on normal Clint for the time being. Now there's actually quite a few maps. Now the game actually does support uh, Steam Workshop and there's actually quite a lot of uh, custom maps for the game. So that's pretty cool. But for the time being, I think we're just going to go on Amusement Park for the time being. I don't want you on beginner, I'll stick on normal. The difficulty spike uh, of notes is actually pretty high. I mean, beginner is fairly simple. I highly advise beginner if it's your first time playing just to get used to the game. And normal's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it on short. Short is uh, four rounds, medium is seven rounds, and long is ten rounds, if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna keep it on short for the time being. And you can also enable a sandbox option, which allows you to tweak with all this good shit if you really want to. If you really want to do that. Mutators are little things that basically change the way the game's played. So as you can see, if you click on this one, only blows will appear during the game, only clots will appear during the game, blah de blah de blah. And that just gives you extra bit of customization. So customization wise this is actually pretty damn solid. Now let's crack into a game shall we? So let's make sure we've got all these selected again because hey it pretty resets itself. Okay. Let's crack on. So, when you first start in, you have to pick a perk. Now, these perks are basically classes, and each class do gives you special bonuses. Now, you can only pick one at a time, which is kind of unfortunate. So, as you can see, I've actually got a bit quite high on sharpshooter and field medic. Uh, no, I haven't been bashing the game. It doesn't take you very long to actually get this eye up um, it's as you can see for example sharpshooter level 2 I need 700 headshots for pistol with pistols rifle crossbow and 14m and I've nearly got it but that's pretty easily done great thing about this perk system is that you can change it in between rounds so if especially in multiplayer if uh, your field medic drops out you can always change to a field medic um, in between rounds which is always nice and as you can see each individual perk gives you a lot of good stuff 
So, because my Feel Medic is level 2, I've actually got quite a lot more benefits. Now, when you start off at 0, it doesn't give you an awful lot. So, let's just check the specialists, as you can see. Specialists has only got 4 different ones. Now, as you level these up, you get not only extra bonuses and benefits, but they also increase in intensity as well. So, as you can see, um, this one's more 10% in everything, whereas with the Feel Medic, you've got bigger bonuses like 50, 25, 50, and depending on what it is as well. It's pretty cool. Sharpshooter, and there we go. I haven't really got many of the others yet because I haven't really dabbled in the weapons. As you can see, each individual perk has different requirements. So, with a Berserker, deal to uh, 25,000 uh, damage with melee weapons. I couldn't fucking read numbers then. Wow. But yeah, so it's cool. It's a really nice system. Uh, I believe the max level is 6, is it? I'm not 100% sure on that. I think it is 6. But. It does take a while to level these up uh, once you get past a certain level. So I think once it gets to level 3, it will take quite a while. Okay, so I'm going to keep the sharpshooter for this. This point is being a field make at the moment because, hey, I'm on my own. Okay, okay. So we are going to ready up. Okay, okay. Here we are. We're in. Excellent. So the first wave will spawn pretty quickly. So you start off with the M9. You start off with limited ammunition. Now, as you can see at the top left, there is a trader bar with an arrow. That tells you where the trader is going to spawn in between the rounds. So it's best to get there as soon as possible. And because I'm talking, I am not concentrating. <laughs> always the way when you commentate. But hey, so as you can see, headshots are always the best because they will finish them off a lot quicker. They've got different hit boxes, so hit them in the body, it'll take more shots than in the head. Now as a sharpshooter, I'll get a massive bonus to actually shot in the head, and as you can see, these are going down in the bullet, which is really nice. In the, uh, in the levels, you can see we've got a few ammo boxes, and sometimes weapons as well, just lying on the floor for the people. So I'm going to pick up this ammo box, I'm not going to pick up the axe. This crap. Well, what I can do is I can pick up the axe and I can see it if I really wanted to. So, on the top right, you can see it's wave one of four, and there is one enemy left, and he's over there. So, instead of killing you, I'm going to go over to the trader, so I'm pretty close. You have very limited time um, to actually get to the trader and sort out all your shit, so it's always a good idea to try and finish the wave off by the trader. I'm wrong. Okay, there we go. come on, come follow me. There's no sprint, unfortunately, you do get just a normal, it's just normal running. Um, oh, lovely, the zombie in the booth. Um, I'm over here, there we go. Now, there is actually a weight system in the game, I don't know if you noticed, but at the um, bottom left, you can see there's a kilogram weight with 6 out of 15. Yes, you are limited to determine which stuff you can carry. Weapons have weights, different weights depending on what weapon it is. And we are actually moving away from the trader. So let's just kill him and get off. Like the as you can see, there's like a nice little red trail just to show us where the trader is because hey, we're blind as a bat, clearly. So yeah, also, weight is a massive is a massive factor in the game because if you're carrying, even if you're carrying like the maximum weight you can carry, it will slow you down. So that's something to consider. So this axe has a weight of five, and we don't really want that. So let's sell it. So there's a few things we can do. We can buy ammo. We can buy separate magazines or fill it up. We can buy extra equipment, we can buy grenades, and we can also buy combat armor, which will um, basically give us a bigger life pool per se. It just it just mitigates the damage dealt by creatures. As you can see, there's quite a lot of uh, choice, and the time is closing in very fast. So let's grab an ant cannon because that was one of my favorite weapons. Favorite weapons. Can I duel them? Oh, yes, let's duel them. That's even better. Let's do the, the. Oh, okay, maybe not. So yeah, there are a lot of. There's a lot of choice in weapons. Uh, we'll have to show you in the next bit. Oh shit, it's cool. As well. There are a few different enemy types. I believe there are ten in the game. Uh, I might be wrong on that, but it's cool. It's fairly varied. <coughs> but the one thing I have noticed is that you can get a little bit repetitive, which is not necessarily a bad thing at all. 
that. So it's that's just something to point out. Oh, yeah. We've got over there. Brilliant. You might have noticed now and again, Mark, the time kind of slows down. That's like when you get like a critical or something, and it just gives you that little bit of extra time to react. And then I'm quite low on health here, so I'm gonna just inject myself with my little injector, which everyone will carry. Now, if you're the uh, medic, then you will probably get better. You'll get better benefits from healing. And it's always a better idea to heal others rather than yourself because it costs less charge. Just take a while for that charge to actually regenerate as well. Doors are also interactive, and if you want to, you can close doors and seal them. Which, well, we ain't not gonna have time to do now because it's slow on that. Oh, crap. I'm getting really bad. Before. These aren't playing around, and this is normal. <laughs> really intense. Right, let's get these bad boys out. Get here. Dual wielding and cannons. And I've got an achievement that I like to watch. Brilliant. I should be careful here because, as you can see, I'm getting cornered and I'm actually probably dead. <laughs> oh wow. Yep, you get to see me fail. Epic. Oh dear. That, that, didn't, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> Oh dear. So yeah, it's pr it's actually a lot of fun. I think we'll I think we'll hop into a multiplayer. Let's see if we can get into a multiplayer game, which is it, probably the way to play this game. It really is a lot more fun, especially when you've got competent players as well that know what they're doing to some degree anyway. So let's see if we can find a game. So we've got normal, no full servers, perks enabled, and shit like that. Right. Let's see if we can get one. Do, 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 do. What's that? Killing epicness. I've noticed where the multiplayer is kind of buggy sometimes. In that you try and join servers and they're full, even though it doesn't tell you. I mean, they do refresh when you select them, but not all the time. Um, there we go. There's one here. Long normal crash. Let's go on that one. Hopefully it's not halfway through. So it's got a, a drop-in, drop-out system, and there's the connection file. Typical. There is a drop-in, uh, drop-in, drop-out system, so you can drop it any time. Uh, normally, it's not a good idea to drop in on the last wave because uh, what you tend, to, what you tend to find is that people that have got the money uh, from other, farming other waves, and sometimes, sometimes they're nice and they'll give you some money, you know. Always, always give money out to, to new players if you've got spare, but it's not always the case, and it can be quite hard. So yeah, probably best off going as early as possible, which can be quite hard. Oh fuck that! Why can't I select it? Mouse sensitivity in the game is a bit dodgy with menus as well, so that's uh, something to bear in mind. Ah, so there we go. We mean everyone. I'm gonna be a medic. I'm gonna give him. Hopefully, we can get him for this wave. So this is the first wave. This is great. This is a great time to come in, actually. First wave, and there's only 28 left. I'll be coming in with just an angle, unfortunately, but hey, that's life. So yeah, you get money by getting kills, and you also get money by healing teammates, which is quite a nice incentive to play here, actually. Pretty cool. So let's just have a. So, yeah, it looks like some of these are trying to heal vintage or the forward. Oh, hang on, maybe. Maybe. You're going to be nice and healing? No? No? Okay, that's, that's not a job then, I guess. Everyone, everyone's going to be healing. There we go. Excellent. Why am I third person? No, I'm serious. Why the fuck am I third person? Oh. I should darn it to change that. Um, <laughs> hang on, how the fuck do I change third person? Uh, controls, first third person, oh come on. Uh, offline only? Well, that's not the case here, by the look of it. F4? No, it's not letting me. Oh well, god darn it, fuck this then. <laughs> That's a shame. That's crap. That's crap. So anything about doing these raw guys, sometimes you get end up with very little 
hiccups like that. What you're going to pause there until I can actually get into a server, so just bear with me. Right then guys, looks like we got pretty lucky here, so I've managed to find one that's only in wave 2, and there's two left. So let's just see how everyone's cracking on, uh, if it would suddenly let me. No spectator mode in this one by the look of it. Oh well. So yeah. Um, hunting for a server can be a little problematic, especially when people are trying to do level 6 runs. Hey, there we go, and we're there. Excellent. It's time to go shopping. Let's go shopping then, yay! So, I think uh, I'm the only sharpshooter at the moment. Am I a sharpshooter? I think I am. Let's just tab. Um, no, actually, there's someone else sharpshooter, but someone else sees a real medic. So, let's keep with that. So, yeah. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm actually really loving it. Really loving it. Some of the maps are absolutely gigantic as well. I mean, they're pretty damn big. And some go loads of places. Absolutely loads of places. Hello there, guys. Hello. I don't need money. I just need to fill my ammo up. Uh, oh, I could have dual nines. Let's do that. Let's have dual nines. Hello to me. I'm up with dual nines. Yeah. Love dual weapons. Um, apparently there's a bug with the dual weapons in that depending on what where you actually aim from. So if you're aiming from the south or from the east, there's actually more spread, which makes absolutely no fucking sense. But they're still fun to use regardless. So hey. Right then. Looks like everyone's in check. You're wasting your ammo. Excellent. Looks like we're coming to a good server here. Okay. Enemies. Oh shit. Wish I had the one pistol now. <laughs> this might not go so well. Where are our zombies? They're everywhere. They're watching us. There. Yeah, damn right. Have some of that, mate. Can you see I'm reloading? Yeah, I'm reloading. Okay. So, there are weapons that are specific to certain classes. The sharpshooter has got more pistols and rifles. The high rail man has got a lot of fire-based weapons, etc, etc. But, after saying that, you can still use their weapons. It's just that you won't be as effective with them as the actual perk that they were planned for. But it's pretty cool that you can mix and match. So, even though I've got these, if I wanted to, I could get grenade launchers. Even though that's usually the same choice. Which is really nice, you know, really nice customization. But you well yeah. Let me just um, inject myself some red stuff. This dude over here, do you want to kill him? There we go. What are you doing? Oh, big one over there. As you can see as well, the only problem with your pistol is that you do need to kind of do a lot of things. You're aiming this in. As you can clearly see. <laughs> but hey, whoa! Where the fuck did that come from? Some are, whoa! Where the fuck is that being shot from? That's miles away! Let's get this... Oh, he's killed the caller. Well, I'm gonna go over there and kill this one over here. I do need a rifle, or maybe even a hand cannon. Hand cannon would be nice. Hand cannon would be epic. Come on, mate. Get yeah, some of that, mate. Epic. Traders over here. And there's 73 more zombies. A wave. I don't know, I'm actually zombies or what? They just look weird. Oh, this dude needs healing. Go heal him. You want to hear that? Go and heal him. What should I do fucking anything? There you go, matey. Do you need healing as well? Do you not? What do you want for you? There you go. Reloading! Right. Oh, all of them. Looks like it. There's 54 elsewhere. So let's go hunting. I haven't seen no ammo boxes yet, which could be a problem. 
Hmm. Where are they? Come out, come out wherever you are. Ah! Invisible one. I see you. But I can't hit you. I believe the commando um, has the ability to actually see them at a certain range, which is pretty cool. Um, excellent. And some of that. Fuck yeah. This is a really just damn full casual game, full stop. It really is. Uh, added bonus uh, for a limited time, it is 80% off, which I believe amounts to about three pounds, which is, you know, pretty uh, pretty good for a wave-based game, especially one that's fairly in-depth as this. There are definitely a lot of team aspect, uh, aspects. <laughs> yeah, I just went there. <laughs> wow, terminology today is not my uh, not my forte. <laughs> yes, it's very team orientated. Ooh, that sounds better. Hello. Where's these other nine teams? Is someone is someone just is someone being selfish and robbing them all? It certainly sounds like that. Let's get to the trader. Um Ooh, ammo. That would be ideal. I would normally say this other people. Because they've usually got more different types of guns, whereas I normally only keep one or two. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Where's this trader? All the way over here. Apparently he's up the top. Which is weird. Oh hang on, is it this door here? I wonder if it is. Ah maybe it is. And it is indeed. Let's see some of the wielding actually so you can close the door. And you can wield. There you go. Maybe it's actually a class designated to um, well, do this better. This door. Is someone trying to get through this door? Uh oh. I hope not. <laughs> Sorry! I didn't mean to do that. They're all dead. It's time to go shopping. I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> I, I'll be able to get me for that. <laughs> right. So we've got some more dual handguns. Or we could try getting some um, rifles. As you can see, we've got the M14 one, here. Hun. Beast gun. Joking, uh, we've got a sniper rifle. Your sniper rifle is 13 blocks. That's massive. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the one 9mm off. And I'm going to have a crack with maybe the crossbow. Oh, I really want the iron cannon. Yeah, to get them. Jawline cannons, yes. Nice yes, please. Let's buy some shit. Hell yeah. Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. Hello. What's going on? What's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't fall off there. You'll hurt yourself. Like that. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, some of that. Can I get a can I get a shot off please? Be a shame. Sake. Spoil all the fun, eh? Anyway, uh, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Really great game, and don't forget it's free till the 23rd. So you might as well download it, you might as well have a little bash on it if you like this kind of stuff. And who knows, maybe you might be um, you might have an incentive to buy it. After all, it is a pretty damn stellar game. I'm Fink Firth, and I shall be popping zombies' heads off. I'll see you later.